All right, guys, we're here at Locals with my boy Joey. All right, how you doing? You playing today, sir? I'm uh, playing Yumi Control, pretty much water control. And how did you do that? Uh, I did pretty decent. I'm still testing it out, so I like I lost, so I went like two two. All right, I, I, how many rounds were there? I think four rounds. Oh, yeah. yeah, I went like two two. I lost to my boy in this hero build. I lost the zombie, but I ended up winning the other two games. And but then, didn't you say you went um, X one at two tournaments with it? Yeah, yeah. So I pour, so at Aporium, I had went uh, X one, and then over here I went undefeated a couple times, but I then also went X one. So it's like it's random. So you won a tournament with this. Yeah, I, it's random here let's, and there. Let's, let's get the list, man. Yeah, yeah. So the monster lineup is like three Warrior Lances. So he doesn't really. Do much. All he is is a 19 beater, but he's just he he's like a tier for me of the deck that lets you search for a legendary ocean. And then from there, I'm also running three of the the new one that came out, the Water Le Leviathan. So he's pretty busted. If nobody knows what he does, he's like a walking golden match where your opponent has to send everything to the graveyard. <laughs> I have to send everything to the graveyard. So they only control one monster that's not water, and everything else on the field has to be water. And he searches out anything you want from your deck that says sea uh, sea stuff uh, sea stuff Yumi or Karushin in his name. Well, once you summon him, it's pretty like it's pretty lit. Uh, and then from there, I'm running the three electric jellyfish. So what he does is I send one Yumi from my hand, deck, or field to graveyard. That's the cost. Especially one water monster from my hand. Then if Yumi's on the field, if you're putting activate monster effect, spell, or spell effect, you can negate it, and it gains 600 attack and defense. And then I'm running one whale, one kraken, and then one normal monster. I'll get to the normal monster in a minute. So what he does is if Yumi's on the board, all your during your main phase, all your water monster can attack directly. No matter what it is, all your water monster can just attack directly. And then during your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can pop one face up monster opponent control. Uh, the second effect doesn't really come up. It's only when he gets a short battle, but car effect, you can add one warrior water monster from your deck to your hand. That's about it. And then he's pretty cool. Nobody sees him coming, but he's a hand effect. Quick effect, if Yumi's on the board, you can target one water monster. You control one monster opponent control. You bounce the water monster back to your hand, destroy your opponent's monster. If he's on the board, if the opponent monster declare an attack, you can negate the attack by putting it back to your hand. Pretty broken, man. Pretty broken. So that's the monster lineup. And this is the new archetype, right? Yeah, this is the new archetype that came out. Pretty much what makes the deck is just this one guy and then this and the jellyfish. These two are like, if you get them on the board, it's pretty hard. Negate and pretty much a golden match. And it goes the match, yeah. But nobody sees it coming. That's what makes it more funny. Uh, then for the spell lineup, I'm running three of the Yumi, uh, three legendary ocean, which treated as Yumi. The only purpose of this deck is to decrease all water monster from both players' hand and field by one, and it boosts up at 200 attack and defense. That's about it. It doesn't really do nothing. The funny part is nobody never negates this. Once this resolves, you are in deep trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then the other one is mostly just orange. I'm running three pot of duality, three prosperities. Uh, everyone knows what these do. It's just to get to, just to keep get the engine rolling. And then I'm running three fish sonar. So this is another new spell card that came out. This is like the reinforcement of the army for the whole entire archetype. You can add one level seven or lower water monster that mentioned Yumi or a normal monster. But if Yumi's on the board, you can add the no you can add the monster from your deck chair and special summon a normal monster. So that's what I mentioned earlier about the normal monster where you can activate this with Yumi. Search you can search out this guy or this guy, and then once you search one of these two, you can special summon this guy for free. And he becomes 3100. So, so especially something at 3100 beaters for free is pretty cool. Yeah. And then I'm running two C stuff, uh, C stuff too. So pretty much this is like your opponent cannot target none of your water monster if his monster is not water. And then at the start of the battle phase, you can press on one water monster from your hand or graveyard that mentions Yumi, but it gets destroyed during the end phase. So it like it, it's just another way to get to Yumi. So I'm running like six different Yumis where I'm running two of this, three of the C stuff attack and all that. But I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, then the one tier for me. The one Fury of Corrosion, this is pretty underrated. This adds you a Trent Tribute, so they know you have it, but they still have to play through it. And then if they, and any of your water monsters will be destroyed by Carfe, you can banish it instead to save it. And then I'm ready to one call by the grave. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, so that's the spell lineup. Uh, and then for the trap, I'm running three sea stuff attack. This car is pretty busted. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, when this car is activated, you can activate one Yumi from your hand or graveyard. That's the first thing when it's activated. So, like, it comes down to it from earlier where you can activate this from your grave or hand, or you can activate this from the grave from hand, uh, the fuel spell. So then from here, you're running technically, what are you, one, two, three, four, five? You're running eight different Yumis. Oh, you, wow. Yeah, so pretty much this could be in your hand in the graveyard, and this will get you, this lets you activate it right away. So the first thing when you activate, activate one Yumi. Then, then he gets two effect if Yumi's on the board. Once per turn, you can banish a water monster. Uh, all your faces, spells, and trap cannot be destroyed by Carfrick this turn. That's broken. And if, if Yumi's on the board, if any of your opponent's monster battle any of your water monsters whose original level are five or higher, they become a construct. So automatically, they can just blow up any of your opponent's monster when they battle. So like he becomes one, he becomes it, and then he becomes a construct. That's broken. So pretty much they ain't, they're never going to lose by battle. <laughs>
Uh, and then I'm running like three Solemn Strike. You have to run Solemn Strike. If you're running a back road bag, I mean, Solemn Strike is Solemn yeah. Strike. Uh, the hand trap, the only hand trap I'm running is three Imperm. And then I'm running this trap card, the uh, Karusha of the Deep, uh, of the deep, whatever it's called. So what it does is you send one Yumi from your field to the graveyard, that's the call. Especially some two water monster from your deck and defense with different names. But if your opponent controls a monster, you can disperse some two water monster and some as many normal monster from your deck as possible. So it comes in handy where you open it with this, you open it with this, and a, and this. This, it, this is just another faster way to get into the Yumi lock, where it's like you just activate this, send this to the grave, activate this, reactivate it, and you get the two monsters for free. It comes in handy. It's pretty busted. And then I'm running the two Tarantha Tribute. I mean, everyone knows what it does. It just yeah. blows up the board, pretty much. So that's for the main deck. Yeah, we'll go to so the extra deck is mostly it's all just a token, but the extra deck is mostly just super poly targets and waking in the dragon target. So I'm running one of this. So when you go against zombies or despians and the actually zombie world, because most people think it's all about type, it's all about attributes. So it's super poly. Uh this is for despians or any fusion deck. This is for any deck that's dark. Uh, Mud Dragon. This is for Marissa, Salomon Gray, or any Cybers. Uh, I'm playing Lynx. I'm playing one Cold Talker, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, and then because they're all watered, Star Boy. Yeah. And then for Waking the Dragon Time, I'm running one Warrior, one of the um, crew. This is just for Flunderies. It doesn't really come up. What does it do? Uh, pretty much, if you're putting activate Monster Effect, you can make him unaffected by that Monster Effect. He gains that Monster Attack. That's broken. And then he can negate Spells and Trap and Spells Trap activation. That's broken. Uh, then one Dragoon and then one Notoria guy. So these are just my Waking the Dragon target, Super Potty target, and then Link targets. That's pretty sick, dude. It comes up once in a blue moon. Yeah, let's see the side deck. And uh, the side deck is like, I'm running three evening match. I mean, this is standard. This is for back row or going second. Like, you could go first or second, but if you go second, this is just to clear the board. And then to mix it up with the dark road no more. Like, this is almost opening up with droplet and evening match. This is almost like droplet and evening match. Just clear the board. Get rid of everything. And then, like I said, the three super poly. And then the waking the dragon tar uh, trap. And then the three judgment. Just to get the bag go first. Oh, that's sick, man. So what made you want to pick this deck? Um, it was pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it's underrated, it's funny. And I like and then everybody who knows me, I like playing decks that nobody sees coming. That's how easy like that's the same thing what I did with plunders. I'm doing well like and I like water decks. Nobody sees these decks coming. They could think it's not good, but these underrated decks are pretty good and broken. Nobody sees coming. I definitely agree with that, man. Any final thoughts on the list, though? Anything you want to change? Any new support? Uh, right now, it's just a prototype. I'm still working on it, but there's a lot of changes I have to do. I just don't know yet, but I have to figure it out. But I recommend anybody who wants to play it, just play it. It's fun. It's cheap. It's fun. It's like, it could win you It could win you tournaments on like, yeah, the low. You say you want, like, what, two locals with it so far? Yeah, two local, three locals, something like that. Nothing too majors, but, I mean, it's a start, you know? Yeah, man, two undefeated locals and then X1, and then you went X2 today, but it'd be like that, though. Yeah, you're not going to win them all. Yeah, true that. <laughs> <laughs> but then but the deck I recommend people play it. It's really good. Right, well, appreciate the no problem.